Hello everyone, my name is Jun Yu and I am a PM on the VS Diagnostics team. Today, I would like to introduce to you some new capacities we have added to the editable expression feature within the Enable Visualizer. So when working with large dataset in .NET application, a common challenge I often encounter is unexpected data, whether it's from data fetched from the cloud or resulting from previous data manipulation. Another issue I frequently face is dealing with exceptions such as null reference exceptions or invalid operation exceptions. Those often occur because I probably doesn't recall the exact schema when working with the data set or may parse the data incorrectly, leading to null values in unexpected fails. Let me walk you through a demo project that deal with a car related data to kind of demo the new features we have here. In this project, we have a few classes. First, there's the engine class that have different properties like maker, like Daiso and block material and add-ons, and which is a list of string. And there's also a car object um, that has car name, brand, year, color, engine brand, um, which the engine brand is actually corresponding to the engine object. So let's go back to the main program. Imagine the data actually got retrieved directly from the cloud rather than in here, like it's kind of generated with like the data structure provided. But imagine this is like a project that you might be working with, have a complicated data structure, um, like refresh from the cloud. Before performing any sort of complicated data manipulation, you want to make sure that um, I have joined the car and engine data correctly um, to form a car engine pair object. I have set up a breakpoint here. So when I click debug, I can hover over this car engine pair list. I know um, if you like ever write in like editable expression or if you ever write like link queries in immediate window um, to filter data, you may know that uh, this requires a lot of previous knowledge of link syntax if you actually ever want to do that. Like while you're inspecting this like annual visualizer, a common pain point uh, was working with Nets' data structure is kind of like verifying the correctness of the data structure. So sometimes it's inevitable that you have to write those link queries to inspect the data and, and just verify the correctness. So with this new inline check feature that we want to introduce over here in the Edisbone expression feature, Copilot can actually assist you in writing those queries. For example, Instead of like manually typing down a query here that says like get me like the engine or something like where select and things like that, I can click this small um sparkle button over here, which will take me to like an additional inline chat window up here that says describe how you want to refine your recent current um expression, and I can say things like get me of the car engine pair with engine having more. Uh, more than three add-ons. So I can click this button over here. You can see that this query got generated for you. So you don't have to like handwritten it itself. And if um, you have any previous uh, knowledge of your data set, so for, for instance, you know, um, there's supposed to be only like 1140 items with the engine atom more than like count of three. Um, so you can do a sanity check to quickly confirm the data's accuracy before you proceed. Additionally, you can continue to refine your queries by launching the Copilot chat directly from the inline chat, clicking the continuing chat button. This will actually open the dedicated chat window containing the context of your data, the code, and the editable expression queries um, you have. If you want to further filter the data set to retrieve, like, let's say, um, if I want to check how many cars have like car years that being like even number, um, I can simply type the request here and just do some further sanity check. So let's say it was car year um, being even. So hopefully this will generate the expression in addition to the expression that I have being already generated, which you can see it seems like it's doing that. You can actually easily bring back this query to the INIMBO visualizer um, to see how this is changing the data set that you're working with. It actually is able to update the query and also updated data set that you're visualizing. And you can 
just scroll around, do all those checks that you will do to make sure that your code is correct. So another issue that, as I said, I usually have when I'm dealing with a large data set in my code is sometimes I have exceptions and I want to see how the IDE can help me to fix this. So you can use the editable, newest editable expression support to help you to better solve exceptions. So let's say I will stop this debugging session and then I will just run the pro program and you will see that, oh, there's a not reference exception. It's saying that somewhere in the data set, you actually have a null pointer, which leads to throwing this error here. So what, what I will do is put back the breakpoint and then I can run the debugger again and I can hover over this data set Again, bring up the iNumble visualizer. Let's say um, I want to check where the null reference is, right? Like I want to see where exactly does the null exception happen. So I can write in the inline chat, show me where car engine pair name is null. And then let's see if it will help me to be able to write this query. Okay. Okay, so you can see that pretty quickly um, Copilot is able to help you generate this query and it is updating um, on this chart. You're, you can see that when car engine pair um, is year, when car engine pair color is blue, and when the car engine brand is forward, every time um, the name will be null. So in this case, you can be able to see like where exactly has been like parsed wrong or what, what, what exactly is wrong with your data set, which leads to this exception. It will be even more helpful if I can be able to use this tool to help me to actually solve this exception or like write change, do some change to my code to actually edit the code to fix the exception, right? So instead I will say, take it me to Copilot chat and help me to update my link query to handle the null exception in the car prefix variable, something like that. Let's see if Copilot chat can help us to generate code that actually does do it a little better. Okay, seems like Copilot has generated this code for us. Um, let's just close the visualizer and copy it over. So yeah, you can see that Copilot is actually able to generate a brand new link query, but it's like similar to um, what you actually intended. What it does is, uh, is also checking whether or not the stream is empty. In this case, if we run this again, it shouldn't give you that exception again because it's doing kind of a null check of the prefix of the card name. It's, a, it's running through it with no problem. The new editable expression feature gives you a flexibility of how you might want to approach your link query within the editable expression. You can use the inline Copilot chat to write queries in natural language, or you can continue the conversation in Copilot chat for some more refinement. Let's say that if you simply just want to write the editable expression yourself, what you can also see is the editable expression now supports colored um, syntax highlight and also IntelliSense, which aims you to give you the same experience of writing the queries in Animal Visualizer, just like how you are editing it in the editor. So all of those are just trying to make it easier for you to catch errors, um, follow your like the structure of your code, and follow the structure of the data set you have easily, and like help you to try to quickly find a variable if you want to handwrite your link queries. Please give those features a try and share us um, some of your feedback, how you're liking it, um, what other support you need. And thank you for watching this video. Mm -hmm.